Activist and lawyer Olivia Wang's career mission is to defend the rights of imprisoned domestic violence victims. She is a staff attorney for the California Legal Services for Prisoners with Children and co-founder of the state's Habeas Project. It was created under a 2002 California law and is the only organization which helps battered women who killed their abusers challenge their convictions in court. In her introduction, TV journalist Tori Silver said the project is trying to change the way the criminal justice system views these women. Its work is so highly regarded, groups from other states have asked Olivia Wang for help in setting up similar projects. A brilliant booster, Olivia Wang. I believe that everyone deserves to love and to be loved. I believe that principles of compassion and understanding are more important than principles of punishment and blame and exploitation of power and control. And I believe that violence against women takes many, many forms. It's not just limited to physical and sexual abuse. And that we must confront all types of violence against women, including institutional violence as exemplified by the prison system. And I'm guessing that some of you also share some of my same beliefs. And would you be surprised to know that this country, that we live in a society that boasts the largest concentration of women prisoners in the entire world. In my home state of California alone, there are 11,000 women in state prisons. That does not include women in jails and in the federal system. And would you be surprised to know that upwards of 85% of those 11,000 women were abused as adults prior to their incarceration? And some of these 11,000 mothers and daughters are women like Flozell, who has been in prison for 19 years now because when she was 18 years old, she defended herself against her batter. And some of these 11,000 women are women like Lori Sue, who's been in prison for 29 years because when she was 16 years old, her abusive boyfriend killed another woman and then pointed the finger at her. And yet some of these other 11,000 women are women like Maria, who at age 16 was sold as a sex slave to a 68-year-old man. And after she served 21 years in prison for her involvement in his death, she was immediately taken to a detention center where our government was trying to deport her. And we are still fighting her case today. To these women and to so many other thousands of battered women in prison like them, the California Habeas Project represents a glimmer of hope. Hope that somebody out there believes in them. That somebody out there is interested in hearing her story. And that it represents a hope that one day they may be reunited with their families because somebody is on the outside fighting for their freedom. There needs to be a California habeas project in every single state. There is no reason why there is not a California habeas project in every single state. We have virtually no staff, no funding, but we rely on a network of close to 200 volunteers up and down the state. And in a period of three short years, we have seen mothers go home and be reunited with their children. And we have seen new laws be passed. And we have seen an increase in the level of public understanding about the relationship between experiencing abuse and ending up in prison. Think of what more we could do with just a little bit of your support. And so on behalf of women like Flozell, like Lori Sue, like Maria, I ask for your support. There are brochures right outside that tell you a little bit about what our project does. And I have to raise $30,000 in the next two months to ensure that we can still survive. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you, Olivia.